Hello and welcome to another episode of The Girls in Real Life with your host Shannon and Charlie. Hello, welcome back, welcome back. It's been a long time uh, but we're back with another episode and today we're going to be discussing the five love languages. Mm, Exciting times. (laughs) You okay? Yeah, I didn't know if that's when you were going to say like what it is oh sorry sorry no sorry. So, well we'll carry we'll carry on it's fine we're goofing it's been a while um so shannon found this um through the cosmo podcast um and it's a really interesting idea developed by this guy named dr gary chapman who did research to understand why couples didn't think they loved each other but individually they did but when they came together they were like oh this person doesn't love me because of this um, and he ended up coming up with five different languages of love of how each person loves each other. Like, for instance, one person could be very, very much like, oh, I want physical touch a lot. And the other person could be like, well, I want to spend quality time more. Um, so they each show that they love each other, but each person's different. Um, so go into it, Shannon. Now's your time to shine. <laughs> yes, yeah, so it's essentially <laughs> it's essentially like a not a test but like ways to discover your compatibility right Mm. so like even though you could love someone for who they are if you aren't necessarily getting what you're looking for from a partner it won't necessarily work um so we've we've done the test haven't we um (laughs) but before we get into that we'll just briefly discuss like the different or the five different love languages so Mm. first off you've got words of affirmation so yeah. this is basically, um, say, for example, you want your partner to give you encouragement or like words of support from a project that you've done really well in or them saying, I love you or things like that, basically. So it's like sort of like word reinforcement, if you will. Yeah, just to be appreciated and to have someone who makes you feel secure and you know, any problems you have, you can literally talk and it's yeah. more, I think that's more of like a communication. Communication, type definitely. Relationship. Yeah. But yeah, so that was the first one. Um, the second one um, that I've got on my list was acts of service, which is basically, do you need my help? Do you want breakfast in bed? It's basically helping the other person with a workload and saying that actions do more than speaking and you actually want to see physical stuff done for you instead of actual you know words um which I'm a bit like "Mm, that's what I'm like I kind of get but I don't know I'd I'd go more for words of affirmation and then what was the next one Shannon uh so I've got down receiving gifts now Mm. I feel like (laughs) when you first hear this you think oh god please let let me have that like I don't want to be shallow I don't want you to buy Mm. me things (laughs) <laughs> but even though, yes, it links to, like, big grand gestures, like, oh, I've surprised mm. you with a holiday, it could also be, like, oh, I was out and I saw this and I thought of you, so I bought it. Yeah. Or it could be, like, a small gesture, like, oh, I've bought a coffee for you or something, like, quite small, but, like, shows mm. that they were thinking of you when they weren't necessarily with you. So it's not all, yeah. like, oh, here's a diamond. <laughs> Here's money, here's everything you want. No, it it can be sweet, but I think you hear it and you're instantly like, I do not want gifts, I do not want people to think all I want from this relationship is to be a gold digger. No, it's not completely that. No. But nobody wants it. It's kind of nice, it's nicer than that, it's nicer than that. Yeah, it's a lot sweeter. Um, And then obviously the next one on the list was physical touch, which I think is quite self-explanatory where you know, you want to be in a relationship where, you know, you actually touch the person. Not like, obviously, not just sexual, more like, you know, like holding hands when you're in public. Yeah, or like if they put their arm around you in a in a bar yeah. or if you're walking down the street and it's like that physical, like physical actual contact rather than it's not just mm. all about what you do in the sheets and all that. <laughs> yeah, obviously that's part of it. Obviously. But like, you know obviously you know you've got to have it well according to my results I'm not into that so we'll get into that later (laughs) (laughs) yeah 
<laughs> I'm and so then, interested in your results. <laughs> oh, and me. Uh, I'm quite shocked by mine. Um, but the last one is quality time. So that's like mm. um, having that one-on-one time, whether you're doing like an activity together or you are just at home. And then it's also like where the, your partner, when you're doing that one-on-one, they give you all of their attention they're not looking at their yeah. phone they're not looking at the tv you're actually like engaging in conversation doing something or even if you're mm. not really doing that much it's just that we are here together and yeah. we're spending time together kind of thing it's the no facebook the you know yeah you're not on your phone whilst you're with Update them in your like instagram you say, it's complete like undivided yeah whilst you're sat with them which <laughs> i absolutely hate that I hate being with someone who are just constantly on the phone and not even in the presence. I hate it with friends too, to be fair. You Mm -hmm. know, when you go out and you sat there and everyone's sat on the phone doing this. When I go out, I try to put my phone in the middle of the table and I'm like, I want to be with people. Yeah, like in a pocket or face down or whatever. It's not there. You're not interacting Mm. with everybody online. I'm gonna say you don't want to hang out with me just say it just don't come out <laughs> you could have but texted me don't like build my hopes you know <laughs> yeah <laughs> but yeah so they're the five love languages which are which I thought would when I read them and didn't know much about them I was like oh they're all quite similar but then you get into it and they are actually quite different um so what were your results the the big time oh like, big reveal. we're all waiting for it what is it <laughs> Um, so I've got as my primary love language uh, words of affirmation. However, saying that, Ooh, I scored what percentage, at, what percentage did you yeah, get? Yeah, so I scored at thirty three percent for that. However, mm. that is closely like in second place. I have a thirty percent of quality time, which I think is quite interesting. Oh my god! Yeah, so they're really close. So essentially, yes. they're kind of mm. split. Um, but mm. right now I've got those results. It it does make a lot of sense to me. Like I do think like I can reflect on past relationships and think, okay, like I was definitely like making sure I was getting good communication with the partner and like mm. um, yeah, making like I, in a sense. Then I would probably say I I would admit that I am a bit insecure. So like that like reassurance is like what I was looking for as well but then equally uh the quality time one that I got 30% on which was like the close second it reminds me particularly Mm. of like when I was with my ex-boyfriend and when we were together he he would constantly be on his phone right and then I'd say you're constantly on your phone and he'd be like but you're on your phone and I'd be like I'm on my phone because you are on your phone (laughs) <laughs> and I remember this one particular instance. Mm. We were in the town centre shopping, right? And he whacks his phone mm. out. And he was following me, literally, like, right up my back around this um, River Island shop. And I literally turned round to him. And he wasn't he wasn't even browsing. He couldn't even probably have told me what shop we are in. I just walked out the shop, yeah? He didn't even realise. And I was walking down the street. I just left him mm. in the shop. And I, I was like... You <laughs> good? You, <laughs> how dramatic is that? Honestly, I was I was quite petty back then, um, and I was like, you oh, are I so done the same. Fo- I've been really angry. Talk, tell me about it. Um, I was like, you are so focused in trying to <laughs> communicate with people that aren't even here that you're not communicating with the person that's standing right in front of you. Biggest one of my biggest pet peeves mm. in a in a in a couple. I have to say, yeah, even. Agree. Even on a date, I've been on a date where this guy's constantly looking at his phone. I'm like, oh, dude, are you for real? <laughs> but, yeah, mm. so they're, they're my top two. What did you get? The same, but switched round. So I got really? 33% quality time, yeah. and I got 30% uh, words of affirmation. <laughs> oh, that was so of insane. Gals. No, because I, I agree with you completely. I agree with you completely where, you know, I value quality time where someone isn't constantly on the phone. So me and Brad have this rule, like, in the evenings where when we're together, we try to put our phones down, so it's just us two, so Mm -hmm. we can talk and 
hear about each other's days and do these general stuff like you know the odd time we're on it you know I'm like ah, I hate hate that I hate mm-hmm. people being on the phone put it down Charlie and then <laughs> words of affirmation I'm like throw it there <laughs> and then like words of affirmations again you know everyone likes to hear you know kind words and everyone wants to be appreciated so yeah I completely get you with that so what were your last um what were your next three um, um percentages so if I go with my my least like percentage I got receiving gifts right um but in all honesty, I don't know if that is a refle- if that is a genuine reflection of how I feel or if I felt like even though no one is watching me do this test, no one cares that I'm doing this test and no one's influencing me doing this test. <laughs> in a way, I kind of I don't know if I was answering it the way that I felt you should answer the questions because you don't want to be shallow. Right. Like on a few of them, like the for example, okay. you know, there's um it mentions like someone does it say something like someone gives you a small gesture? I think I may have like clicked that over the other one. But maybe on the bigger ones I was like, No, of mm. course I don't want to be like that. But that is my lowest scoring one. I got seven percent. I got seven percent gear. Oh my god, Becky. Which is weird. <laughs> the test doesn't work to get the same numbers. <laughs> No, I, I do uh, think yeah. I agree with you. I, there was a few questions that were like, do you want the big things or do you want someone to be nice to you? I think yes, there was those yeah. sort of questions like that. And I think that's why gifts is quite low because we value actual human beings mm-hmm. instead of, um, you know, material gifts. Yeah, 100%. However, you know, a nice little, oh, I saw this, uh, what's smaller knife? Oh, I bought you a little plant. That would be quite cute. I bought you a cactus. <laughs> That'd be quite nice. Mm-hmm. Bought you this uh, this cacti <laughs> for our window shelf. I don't know, but uh, that would be quite cute. <laughs> you no, know, cute little gifts. Yeah, like for me, I'm like you know, Brad buys me my favorite drink. You know, he comes back and he's got me like because I really like Bolts on the Blue, um, the mm-hmm. innocent movie. And like if he ever sees it on offer, he always buys it for me. That's so it's sweet. little things like that where you're like, mm-hmm. it's sweet. Yeah. But, you know, I don't want him to be there buying me, like, a big diamond necklace. So I'd be like, I'd never wear it, and I'd just want to sell it. <laughs> like, don't waste so your like, money on those things. Really it's not really us. I think it's, um, <laughs> I think it's quite interesting that, obviously, like, we're friends, and we've got similar um, results. Because mm. I think this maybe then transcends more than just, like, romantic relationships. Because I think if you have a, fri- so. a friendship that you aren't getting, like, si- you're not on a similar vibe, then maybe it wouldn't mm. work for friends either. I'm not sure. No, I agree with you. Like, I think if you have friends, if somebody, like, I don't know, gets really high percentage of gifts on this, I think it'd be hard to be friends with that person because they'd always expect some Something. sort of gifts in their friendships as well. Yeah, potentially. So I do, I do think it transcends friends as well. Hundred percent. Which is why some think... some friends are incompatible. Yeah. Yeah, and why there's like that underlying like jealousy or something or other. Do you <laughs> yeah. think that um, if a if if mm. a boy did this, they, it would be in a completely different order? Because my my sister's my sister's mm. boyfriend. Um, they actually knew about this before I did, so I happened to mention this to my sister, and she mm. said that her boyfriend has done this before, or they've spoken about it or something, and he prioritises acts of service because he really likes Ooh. he really likes cooking, right? And for him, that's something that he likes doing not just for himself but for other people. So right. he. Because he likes doing it, that's something that potentially he looks for. But I don't know if that's like mm. a, a male thing or if they would like prefer physical touch. Because do, do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I get what you're saying. For me, to be fair, acts of service, when I first heard of it, I just thought acts of service, personal slave, traditional you know, male-female relationships where the woman does everything, so the man values acts of service a lot more. But 
to be fair, in a modern, you know, society now, we are more equal. And I guess, you know, help. Ah, very interesting. It does make sense. It does make sense. Now, you know, we're more equal. So it's like, you know, I think my acts of service was like 20% or something. But I never would have thought like, oh, I want, you know, Brad to be helping me out with this. But then, you know, I think about it and I'd be like, oh, you know, if I was cooking and Brad helped me out, because we do cook together and I do really like that. So I guess it's, I guess it's changed with society now. Mm. Yeah, because I would say like using cooking as an example of acts of service, I can't work out if, like according to this, I only look for 17%, but just using the example of cooking, right, I am a very stressy cook. However, equally, my mum was telling me um, recently about her friend and she has a partner, but they live separate and they moved in together for self-isolation. And he is very like an act of service guy. Like he cooks every night from scratch. He, as soon as she walks through the door, he gives her slippers and a cup of tea and things like that however things like that I feel like in the short term I'll be like that's so sweet like for you to be that thoughtful like you know I'm tired so you're gonna help me or do Mm. something nice but I think that would just really pee me off I'd be like I just want to cook my own tea (laughs) (laughs) I just want a chip sandwich (laughs) I don't do do you know what I mean like I feel like it would frustrate me if a partner wanted to provide Mm. these acts of service all the time (laughs) and I'd be oh even thinking about it it makes me feel really claustrophobic (laughs) no I do sometimes you get home and you're like you know what I've had a rubbish day all I want is like a pit butty or like some Mm. crap or you're like you know what I'm gonna pick up McDonald's on the way home I'm not bothered about cooking but then you get home and there's like this really nice meal cooked for you and you, you don't want it, but you're like, I have to have it. And yeah. you're just like, <laughs> you're just like, oh, like, I feel it's like really that's sweet for me before I, I'm even I in a relationship. Get you. It's really sweet, but <laughs> it would, that would just give me the ick. I'd be like, I'd oh, just get out, stop breathing, mm. leave me alone. You've given me the ick. I don't want to be around you. You're annoying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah there's a level of independence I think you need and um, you know whilst it's sweet sometimes the whole oh god when you said like you know he cooks he gets the slippers ready like it's sort of like a routine and I don't know if I'd like the constant routine occasionally I think it's sweet but the constant routine of doing it I'd, I'd be terrified <laughs> But equally then, be like, to come home. obviously this test is like individual. So obviously there are people that could do this test and they would potentially swap out acts of service for, I don't know, quality time. They would see acts of service as more yeah. necessary and something that ticks them over in their relationship compared to like quality of time or physical touch because... It's like they're mm. getting not rewarded, but like thought about in the physical sense. Yeah, you know well, I mean? it's more of the actions uh, speak louder than words. So I guess some people, yes. you know, people that aren't really very chatty or people who don't really talk much in a relationship, I guess that kind of stuff resonates more with them because they're like, you know, we don't talk about our feelings very often. But you doing, you making me food, you running me a bath, stuff like that. I guess that speaks more to them. Mm, 100%. I get it, but it's, it's not me. <laughs> it's not a bit of me either. I'm happy with my results. I uh, I feel like it's a uh, it's a good reflection of my wanting in a partner, <laughs> where whoever you are. <laughs> I'm surprised with my results. So I got twenty percent acts of service, which I was like, okay. Mm-hmm. Um. But my physical touch was only 10%, which I was very surprised. I don't know if, like, you know, I clicked stuff wrong or whatever. Not like I'm a horny devil or whatever. But I am quite affectionate with Brad. So, you know, if we're out, I would, like, hold his hand or, like, 
you know, I like to get snuggled up or whatever. I'm not like attached to the hip, but I am quite physical with him. And when I told him my results, he was like shocked saying, yeah, God, I thought physical touch would be like your top. Yeah, see, I so also I am, I got a low score. I got 13% for physical touch. However, obviously the test is set, so like mm. it gives you two options, doesn't it? For, obviously for people that haven't done the test. It gives you two options, and the question that you have to decipher between the two answers mm. is which is more meaningful to you. So e- obviously for us, mm. like for both of us, even though like I'm a big hand holder, I love a, a hug, um, you know, like an arm around the shor- shoulder, mm. like with a bit of a squeeze for like reassurance, whatever. Obviously, there's <laughs> things yeah. that we, if if you had to pick, we would have to get rid of that because, like, if you could only have the one, yeah. obviously, I mean, this test just shows that I'm pure insecure, and I need someone to tell me they love me all the time. <laughs> um, <laughs> But, but obviously, like, <laughs> if you had to remove it from the equation, hand holding isn't the thing, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Um, I know when I made Brad do a little bit of the test, and he actually got all well said, um, he thinks words of affirmation would be his top because. He likes encouragement. He likes to listen. One of his biggest things he says in a relationship is he likes trust and he likes to be able to talk to someone and be yes. able to share stuff with the partner. So I guess, which is which is interesting, to be fair. You wouldn't think that would be for a guy, but then again, we're in a modern society where, you know, roles are changing and everybody's got their own different ones. But I think that's why me and Brad get on so well because ours are quite close. Because words of affirmation was 30% for me. So I think ours are quite close, which is why we get on quite well. Or maybe yeah. this is all bollocks and we don't. <laughs> yeah, this could be just a load of crap to help. I mean, obviously online it says that these... Because <laughs> um, it's there, it all comes out in a book as well. There is a book. And obviously it says that it, it, say, it claims yeah. to have saved relationships. But it equally, sometimes maybe people are looking for a reason things aren't working out so you can attempt to figure things out. Yeah, I was thinking that. And it's like, oh, well, mine says this and yours says this. That means we could work between the two. Because I think for me, words of affirmation and quality of time that we've both scored highly in are completely on Mm. a different level to receiving gifts. Like, even a small gesture to me is quite insignificant compared to the Mm. other two. Like, they're quite, um, they're just completely different things, in my opinion. Mm. So, no, I I don't know, it's very, uh, it's very interesting. Yeah. I think it's interesting. Mm. Well, you know, I mean, obviously, like, make him do this. Well, I was just going to say, like, obviously, like, you're in a relationship, so, like, it kind of, in a way, it's reassuring for you because it's like, okay, we're, we're, we're compatible in this <laughs> yeah. respect in the love languages. But I think yeah. for me as well, it kind of like being single and like not actively dating because no, thank you. Not, we're not there. Um, <laughs> but like future dating Shannon will, I might be more, a bit more self-aware of like what I'm looking for. And like, I think it, I don't know, it could be helpful to, scoop through the the garbage boys <laughs> get rid of the trash you know get rid of the trash <laughs> and then this first before you go on your first date <laughs> what did you score like, what did you score on this it could it could literally be a pre-date um thing like please fill out this form <laughs> please do this quiz and send me the results to my email and i'll get back to you <laughs> <laughs> like a really good hey, screening really program. Fun if somebody sent me there, yeah, honestly, I mean, you get rid of all the trash, all the losers, and the I'd people like, who stay, you're like, yeah, they're worth a date. I'd be, I'd be like, oh, you scored high in acts of service. You're definitely a chef. Get out. <laughs> we don't want you. <laughs> Cooking all the meals for me. Oh my god, how funny! But yeah. I would recommend every listener yeah, to fill it out. Just, yeah, 
just to see what you get because yeah. I think it's interesting because <laughs> I think I think you you might have an idea in your head of what you expect yourself to be and while as have confirmed what we kind of think it could be completely different you could mm. get some you could literally prioritize yeah. fig- physical touch over every other love language that there is and you could be like oh interesting mm. right Let's see how that can work for me. Mm. Yeah, I think everyone should try it. Everyone listening should definitely try this. But obviously, remember that it is just somebody's theory. It's not exact. If you do this and you find you and your partner are completely different, you know. Yeah, we're not saying go and dump your (laughs) your husbands, your fiancés, your boyfriends, your girlfriends. Like, don't, don't, I don't need that on my shoulders. I really don't. Yeah, it's just a little bit of fun, but I do think it has a little bit of weight behind it, but that's just my opinion, but maybe it's because I did well with, yeah. you know, what I <laughs> because wanted. Because it confirmed and, you know, what you I thought. Because think... <laughs> <laughs> it confirms, you know, I'm like, yeah, I'm happy. <laughs> According to this guy. But yeah, so hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode. Um, we're going to be trying to put out a few more episodes as well. We did have a little bit of a break because of life and COVID and everything else, but we are back on the mend and the girls in real life are back, stronger yeah, than I ever. Think, I think we, we've had everything that could have happened under the sun happen to us in the past few weeks. So I think we're doing we're doing good. We're back. Past few months. <laughs> I know. I was trying to make, make it seem not as long, but <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> no, got it. It's been tough. The world knows it's been tough for everyone. So we we had a nice little break. Well, not really a break. I wish we could have said we all went on a nice holiday and did fun stuff. But no, we were just at home, Mm -hmm. just trying to live and sort out the brain. (laughs) But yeah, thanks for listening. Thank you for listening. Don't forget to follow us on socials. Yeah, and that's bye from me. Have a lovely... (laughs) 